Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be continuing our discussion on array methods. We're gonna go over some pretty cool array methods in this video, so I'm hoping you guys are excited. But you know what else is exciting? That's right, our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you ain't heard of Dev Mountain, they are a coding bootcamp that's gonna give you what you need to know to survive in a JavaScript-based web development environment. What exactly does that mean? Well, what might take you a couple years to learn on your own self-studying, they're going to give you in a matter of, I think, 13 weeks. So you can go through these classes, get out of the curriculum, and go get a job in the industry. They're very career-centric, so they're going to help you get a job. Very recommended. I leave the link in the description for you guys, so go check that out. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is sort. Very simple. We just say grades.sort. And we run this. You can see we get things uh, sorted, right? It seems to be working. Hmm. But let's go in here and let's put some more data. So let's say grades is equal to, actually let's just push stuff on here to make it longer. So we're gonna push on just a bunch of numbers. There we go. And now let's do grades.sort. Awesome. So you might be wondering like, what is going on here? This doesn't seem sorted. It kind of looks sorted because it goes zero, one, two, three, but you can see it has like 23 and then three and so forth. Well, the definition of sorted <laughs> is all depending on how you define sorted. By default, this is going to sort almost as if it was alphabetically. So the ones are going to come, well, zeros are going to come first, then ones, one becomes comes before one zero, one three comes before one five, and you can kind of get the picture here. So this is not looking at the size of the number, rather it's looking at the first digit in the number, and then putting all of those together and then sorting again by the second digit and so forth. So this can actually be changed the way this works. So for example, you can do a callback function, which is basically just a function that gets called for every single element in this array. And the way this is gonna work is we're just gonna define a function inside of here. So we're just gonna say function and then inside of the curly, oh shoot. Inside of the curly braces here, we're going to say return a minus b and where is the a minus b going to come from? Well, it's going to come in as, in as arguments to this function. So we're just going to say a, b. Awesome. So now it should be working the way we expect. And if you don't understand what all this chunk is, well, we're actually going to be talking about callback functions. And we'll probably go through this example in a little bit more depth later on in the series. And just in case you're dying to know, whatever the return of this is, if it's negative, it tells us to flip the numbers. So doing a minus b will tell us if the numbers are in numeric order. But once again, we'll get into that more later on. The next method I wanna to talk to you guys about is the reverse method. So what we can do is first let's put grades here. And that is what grades is right now. What we can do is put grades.reverse. And in this situation, the last will be first and the first will be last. Do keep in mind that for the methods we've been calling, it alters the original array. So that's why we're calling grades here and they stay in this reversed order from this reverse method call. So keep that in mind, it's very important. Not all methods work that way. So you need to understand when methods alter the original variable and when they just return the new version. All right, now I'm gonna be teaching you guys a method that I honestly am not really sure what you do with it, but it's kind of cool, so let's just learn it anyways. <laughs> so we have grades, and here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna say grades.fill. And what this will do is it will fill a section of the array with a particular value. So what value do we want to use? Let's say negative one. Where do we want to start? Well, we could start at index zero and then we could go all the way to grades dot length, like so. Now it's important to understand here that this third argument is actually the index to stop at, not including that index. It's not the length of how many you want to change. In this situation, we're starting at zero, so it's gonna be the same either way. So if we did a four, it's gonna stop at index four and change four of them. But if we started at a different index, say three, it's important to understand that this is not the same thing as saying we wanna change four of them. This is just saying to stop at index four. So try to keep that in mind, and now let's go back to the original, which was grades.length. Another thing to understand is that this is the index to stop at, but it doesn't include that index. So for the beginning one, it's inclusive, for the, the ending one, it's exclusive, which is why we're use, using grades.length and not grades.length minus one. This is going to allow us to change the entire array. And you can see it replaced everything with negative one. So yeah, that might be useful for something. 
the next video we're going to go over arrays for just a little bit longer there is one more method i wanted to mention to you just for fun if you wanted a little bit of a research project and that is copy within so when you call that you would want to call that on grades so it'd be grades.copy within this method can be used to copy a portion of an array to another portion of the same array so if that's something you might be interested in go do some extra research maybe get some practice with that that's all I got for you guys in this video. Be sure to check out the next one because we're gonna be talking about concatenation, checking if elements exist in an array without having to manually do that with a for loop. <laughs> we're gonna get the index of elements and we're gonna be talking about all kinds of other cool stuff. So that one's definitely gonna be helpful when you really wanna check that out. So I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, please.